Imagine that. <laughs> and then we go to the Grand Canyon, Dad. It would be so vast. God, it would just swallow us up. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, no, sorry, I dropped my phone. Yes, I'll be there now in a minute. This new show is going to be equally as amazing as that. Ella and her voice, I mean, she's a star in the making. I think this part and this particular show plays perfectly to her strengths. I promise you, ladies, we're going to create something absolutely fabulous together. Oh, <laughs> yes. Are we all agreed? Mm. But, um, such a nuisance, I know, but if you do recall, I did request that your initial investment be made in cash. It's just so much more tax efficient. Oh, sorry. It, it's just my son. He said it was best. Oh, oh no, don't worry. <laughs> it's completely above board. We've set the dates already and we've even contracted a producer from London. Oh, oh, wow. Sorry, I have it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you for all your support. I promise we won't let you down. And I guarantee, in the first week alone, will not only double your investment, will triple it. Oh. <laughs> now, while Ella sorts out your receipts... <laughs> you were wonderful, dear. Just wonderful. Beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. That's, that's very kind. Um, I signed your name for it. Good, good. Now, ladies, how about a tour of our lovely theatre? Mm -hmm. Ella! And after that, we'll celebrate with some champagne in the green room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have some of my old headshots and sign them for me, will you, baby? They'll be chuffed with those. Today was a doddle. Tomorrow's the big guns. We're gonna kill them. <laughs> Which way, Diane? Coming! I tell you, we'll finally put this place on the map. Jimmy Chews. <gasps> Welcome! So glad you all came. Hello, Hello. how Hello. are you? Hello, Christ so Phil. Well. How are you? Very well, thank you. Hello, welcome, welcome. We've got a real treat lined up for you today. Hi. Come on, Bill. Oh, 
How's Jibber and the kids? Oh, they're fun, thank you. Yes? Yeah. Good to hear, Father Mamie. And we'll hook up a few Fresnels, which will give the cyclorama a wonderful sense of a dreamy night sky. I mean, imagine it. She's there, all alone. It's a lament, it's a tragedy, really. But then the big band sound strikes up on the high note, punching him in the gut, as it were, and the stage will sparkle, brilliant, bright as the jazz notes soar and she knows, and he knows, he'll pay. Oh, he'll rue the day. It's got a gorgeous harmonic that's really stood the test of time, and, and I'm sure you'll... Oh, there we are then. <laughs> Good. crying after you've gone there's no denying you feel blue you're gonna be sad you'll miss the sweetest pal that you ever had there'll come a time and don't forget it there'll come a time where you'll regret it so Great singer, your kid. Bit wasted in these parts, I think. She's a headliner. Immense natural talent. But it goes without saying, Bill, this has got to be the perfect opportunity for you. Your business acumen, you can appreciate what great potential this new show has. And you, Bill, you'll get all the kudos that comes with such an investment. You've always been such a generous supporter of our regional arts and our youth. And if you were to sponsor such a game-changing production as Damn. this... No, wait, Bill. Please. Hear me out. 
It's a terrific opportunity for us both, don't you think? Imagine it. Your name in lights. Producer. I mean, it's going to be bloody amazing. But we've discussed this before. Yeah. I came to this meeting because I thought that's what this was all about. Yeah, I can't be any clearer than this. I don't want a show. I want the building. Bill. So, when you're ready to sell, you know where to find me. Oh, but Bill, please. This show will make you a fortune. Bye, Diane. Bill, please. What the hell was that? There was no reason for you to move off your mark or step out of profile. What a bloody mess! Appalling, absolutely appalling. Mum, please. Gaffer tape, it's all that's holding this place together. When are we going to spend some serious money on it? You knew. You knew how important this was. I was banking on it and you mucked it all up. We died, Ella. We completely died. Well, I could have died in that light. Just like Dad. That has nothing to do with it. You've wasted my time and theirs. Well, it's not a complete waste. It's not nearly enough. going to be a great show. A winner, yes. For the town, for you, for everyone. And Bill Richards investment, where are you at on that? He's not the only punter in town. I've got 2k. That's not going to do it. Okay, 5k. I, I've got 5k, but surely if we can just... You are nine months in arrears with your mortgage account, and if you do not pay the full... 292,768 pounds by Friday week, then... I'm sorry, Diane. It's Lady de Vries. Mrs. Adams, we have made it perfectly clear to you, many times, that we will be forced to foreclose. No, I won't allow it. It's all there in the business plan. It's going to break box office records. What if you just get out, sell it? You've indicated yourself that Mr. Richards wants to buy I it. I don't want apartments. I want the greatest show anyone's ever seen. Why do you think I couldn't sleep? You think I really care what she thinks of me? Really? You're such a sap. I knew they'd make you think their way was the right way, make you believe different is better. Him spouting on about freedom. It's claptrap, and you know it. I might just take the boat out and not come back. You'll never leave. I couldn't get you to leave, even if I tried, because you haven't got the guts. Did you get David Wilson? Your pride and your joy is all down to your so-called success. But without me, what are you really? Without your mother's intervention, buying us our first house, setting us up? Not once, not once did I ever hear you complain. I was 16 and pregnant. What was I going to do? Give away another child? You broke my heart. You did. 
wasn't going to let you do that to me again. I knew them coming today would do this. Why do you think I couldn't sleep? You think I really care what she does to me? There's no decent roles out there for women my age. I knew they'd make you think their way was the right way, make you believe different is better. But look, I've still got it. <laughs> you have, Mum. I might just take the boat out. You are really amazing. You'll never leave. Baby girl, whatever happens, we'll get through this together, okay? Your dear daddy wanted so much more for us, and now... If we just stay on course, we can do this. You have such a lovely face, baby. But it would be nice if you smiled a bit more. You always look so glum. And I know things are pretty tough at the minute, but we still have each other, right? And that's something to smile about. Take all that emotion and use it to inform your roles. <laughs> Do try and put on a happy face. Practice your Duchenne, darling. Smile with your eyes and keep your mouth closed. At the very least, do it for my sake. Okay, I'll try. And don't forget rehearsal at one. But the bank. I'm not giving up on your father's legacy. And neither should you. Oh, Mum. Oh, something will turn up. Now go on, shoo. Still got a show to do. Him spouting on about freedom. It's claptrap. And you know it. I might just take the boat out. Not come back. You'll never leave. Come back. You'll never leave. I couldn't get you to leave, even if I tried. Everyone to believe, isn't it? But without me, all right. Are you really? Without your mother's intervention, buying us our first house, setting us up. Not once, not once did I ever hear you complain. my heart. Switch it off! You did. I wasn't going to let you do that to me again. Hey. All right. Good, yeah. It's, um... Good to see you. You okay then? Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, well, actually, it hasn't been. About you got the code for that? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, right. Um. Okay. for now. I'll need the code. <laughs> a bloody future in there. So it's off, okay? Don't tell Mum either. 
It's got nothing to do with you two. But that was hard earned. It's my insurance. As soon as I figure out where to fence it, I'm out of here. But we could really do. If with you something. want a dead sister, then go ahead. But what have I ever done to you? And don't go getting too attached either. At rehearsal. I take it you'll not be staying long. There's nothing for you here anyway. No, not there. There. Yes, another foot. Yes, got perfect. My goodness, loosen up a little, will you, baby dear? Please try and pretend you're enjoying it. Feel the sentiment, match it with the energy, and draw out the character. Strictly second hand Everything from toothpicks to our baby grand No, 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 sweet pea She's demure, but she's not a toddler This isn't some fluffy kindergarten sing-along And the actions, baby, do the actions Let's try again from the chorus soon. Baby, if you can't follow instructions and keep up with it, then we're just wasting our time. This is a privilege, Ella. A privilege. Where's the impetus behind it all? The engine, the emotion. Honestly, I've seen more sentiment from a toilet roll. Well, I do what you said. Go higher. You, you did what every cheap chanteuse does. Well, it says on the sheep. <laughs> we are not sheep. We are not those people. You know what? We'll just try again. <laughs> Stop sabotaging everything and pay attention to what I'm saying. Okay, okay, I'm hey, I get it now, okay. I'm really glad your father's not here to witness such a paltry effort. Mum. It's a train wreck, Ella. Rehearsal or not, it shows a complete lack of respect for us both. I think Daddy would be as deeply disappointed as I am. That's nothing to <laughs> Oh, you have no luster, Ella Evans. No style, no guts. I mean, nobody can make a star out of Miss Lynch. You don't sod your stupid oh, show! Shut up, Bella! Maybe if you tried a little harder, hmm?
suspected I'd find you here. Actually get away, are you? <laughs> yeah. Where would I even go? It's a whole wide world out there, babe. Yeah. And I don't know the first thing. I wonder about them, though. Where they're going. Island of. <laughs> Beyond that, like, what they're escaping. Could go yourself, you know. I'm telling you, if you don't get out soon, you don't actually take a risk. You're going to be stuck here forever. Besides, it's not like you owe her anything. Well, she was here for me after... after what happened, and... she looked after me, she did. She protected me. I mean, I know you would have secured the lights, but... That's... <sighs> I checked them exactly how she taught us. But I guess I just... I didn't check the rigging itself. That's bollocks. You didn't have to. Just a kid. Look, I came back to... Well, I've got the perfect little job for you, all right? A sideline to get you started, get you out. More fun than this. And it will make you a much bigger star than theatre ever will. Cash in hand. Come on. You're not going to come say hi? Um... I'll come back another day. On my own. Let's just get going, yeah? <laughs> Money. Solid. Enough to save this place. Oh, get a bloody grip. I'm not sinking my hard-earned cash into this dive. But we have to do something. There's no we in this. There's you and me, maybe, but... You'd be better off gambling on a lame greyhound. That mortgage Mum's after might help in the short term, but it's only delaying the inevitable. She should sell it. Cash out. There's still some equity, right? It's our bloody birthright. You should at least get some of it. It's what Dad would have wanted. Huh. So that's what you're after? Babe, I've got my own shit to deal with. Yeah, Mum has no one. Not after Dad. And not after you left. She needs me, Evie. I can't leave her. When are you going to realise the only person she loves is herself? It might look like that from the outside, but it's just the strain of everything. She tries to hide it, but losing Dad was really difficult for her, too. I mean, this is all she knows. This building, this place, this business. She's not the person she used to be. You should just try to get to know her a little bit. At least give her a chance. We'll give her a cut. A cut? How long do you think that's going to hey, last? Okay, okay. I'll figure something out for the mortgage as well. Oh, well, what about? Oh, forget about those. This is the game. This will buy us some time. Right, you want in? Then pay attention. This phone here represents a single company over a two to six week period. On it, I've created a new company, a startup. It's got a fake owner, okay, because it's a fake business. And they sell fashion accessories, premium drinks, gambling, whatever. <laughs> then I, we, set up a nice little social media campaign. Some upstart, you, plays a trendy social media influencer who's got a bunch of fake followers up to her tits and shows off the mega ready she's made buying shares in said company. You, the influencer, you yabber on about how you invested just a little to start with. Gotta be careful out there. 
and boom. You gush on how your shares went ballistic and now you're bling in a bloody mansion. Everyone wants a fast buck, right? But these patsies, they're careful. They just sniff it out to start with, I get, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 full hits off an initial campaign. Each hit, up onto stakes, thousand quid or so. Loose change, got it? But, then they see a share price. A share price we control, mind. They see it go up, and up, and up, and up, and up, and boom, they're in. <laughs> they invest more, we're looking at 10 to 20 of those initial punters. Sinking another 10 to 20k. Do you keep in count? All going into my offshore accounts. <laughs> then a few days later, maybe a week, shares tank like a dead dolphin at SeaWorld. Company goes bust overnight. I mean, complete carnage. Investments all gone and there's no comeback. None. Because that shares for you. That's the risk you take. Hey, but what about the authorities? I mean, the law. So what? What are they going to find? Everything's wiped. The company, the shares, the social media campaign. It's all gone. I chucked the phone as well. I mean, there's no proof it ever even existed. Nothing. Then we start over afresh. Same coding, just a few minor adjustments for each new startup. First few weeks for any new company is always a slow burn. <sighs> but four to six weeks in, I max out. Don't get greedy. That's the thing. Move on to the next one. A new one. Oh God, it's so dicey though. I mean, for you. <laughs> Not if you're fast. If you keep on top of it, shift it over and over. I get one whiff of the pigs and I shut it down. So yeah, I could use the help. It's not right though, is it? I mean, they're just normal people. They're just people like me. <sighs> they're greedy, reckless mugs. That's what they are. It's up to you. But do you want to save this place or not? Baby, I'm sorry. You know I didn't mean it. It's just... We'll go back to Bill. We'll try another song, another show. He'll come round, he will. At the end of the day, he'll realise there's more money to be made from our show than in a pile of bricks. He likes us, baby. He likes you. <laughs> And we make a great team, you and me, despite my... I have complete faith in you, Alla. Just don't be fooled into putting your eggs into Evie's basket. Oh, Mum, she's just... Oh, she's trouble. That's what she is. She's got herself into a situation over something, and I'm sure you've heard all about it. Oh, don't tell me. I don't want to know. She's just another distraction that we really don't need right now. Oh, we're not... We're just... I'm not surprised she's back. And with her tail between her legs, she couldn't cut it in this game, so... Why does she think she's better off anywhere else? She's got no real talent. No staying power. Mum. You would tell me, though, wouldn't you? You'd tell me if she was up to no good. Oh, it's fine, Mum. There's nothing going to come between you and me and the show, OK? And Evie, she might actually be able to help us. Daddy had a business, strictly second hand. Everything from toothpicks to a baby grand. Stuff in our apartment came from daddy's soul. Even my clothes, some other bitch wore. It's really no wonder that I felt abused. I never got a thing that hadn't been used. Second hand pearls. Second hand girls, fuck that shit. I ain't no second hand girl. No second hand hats, no second hand clothes. No 
nobody gonna call me Secondhand rose, oh, secondhand hats, no oh, Secondhand clothes, nobody gonna call me Secondhand rose Life. Okay, great. So, oh shit, rehearsal. If you're on the run from something or someone, then you better move on and quick for your own sake. enough on my plate at the minute and I really don't need any more trouble about the place. No, of course you don't. You can't just swan in here and expect things to be the way they were, not after what happened. And you can't expect Ella to be yours for the taking. She is not your lackey. There's nothing she doesn't know about this theatre. It'd fall apart without her. It's her life. Her home. So don't you dare take it from her. What, like you took it from me? You left! Because I knew. I knew what you were going to do, but I wasn't going to be a part of it. Oh, my dear. You're wasting your time. I have no spare cash. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you've blown through Dad's life insurance real quick. You've no proof that it was anything more than an accident. It's pointless us arguing. I'm here now. I can help with all this. <laughs> what? With your silly little scam? Sure. That's one way. But there's a much quicker way. I'm not selling. <laughs> Bread and butter and all that jazz. But you are shopping for extended credit, right? It's none of your concern. I'd be surprised if I still know in this town. No one bloody leaves. So. I can get the people and sort out all your legals. There's a reason you were never cast as the heroine, Evie. Fine. No bother. Yeah, I can see this place is in ship shape condition and I can hear the investors banging down the door to bankroll your next West End revival. I wasn't born yesterday, dear. What's in it for you? Ella. I need Ella. You give us some slack, yeah? Better help me, and in return, I'll help you. Go on. As per usual, you go and ask about tips with your little business plan. Banks aren't stupid. One show alone's not going to hit the high bell. You need lots of productions. A slate. Ramp up the cinema offerings. Lease out a space for a trendy cafe and bar. You need a long-term solution that's going to increase revenues and mitigate losses. Change the name on the deeds as well. Use the theatre's name. All that crap in the background, that's what's going to get you a new mortgage. You just focus on creating a good mix of shows. Leave all the other ideas and number crunching to me. New spaces, new shows, new mortgage. What's not to love? And you can do this in time. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, then let's do it. You got Ella's mind. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever it takes, we've got to do this. <laughs> I I'm thinking we stick to Funny Girl in the autumn and then maybe Cabaret in the winter. People love that. And then the Velveteen Rabbit at Easter because that's always popular. I saw a wonderful show of that one, so they healed it.
like that. the life. Why didn't you come back? What? For Dad's funeral, why didn't you come back? Oh. I tried to. I... Of course I did, but I, um, I had work, you know, commitments, things I, things I couldn't get out of. Not even for him? He was, it wasn't going to bring him back, Anna. Yeah, I heard you, um, you and Mum, talking about it, about Dad, about that day. I don't think so. About the accident. I don't recall. You know something and you're not telling me. <laughs> There's nothing to tell. Oh, God, you're siding with her. Oh, for God's sake. Why would I side with her? Hmm? It's not like we ever got along. So what are you playing at now? Nothing. There's nothing going on now, and there wasn't then either. God, Evie, I'm not blind. I know what she's like. There we are, then. You've got all the answers already. There you are. If you could possibly tear yourself away from your sister and spare a minute of your precious time for me, I need to discuss these new shows. Oh, oh no, Mum, I really uh, don't want baby. to do... We have so little time to put the wheels in motion. It's imperative I make a quick decision. We made a deal, you see, you and me. Wait, what sort of deal? Well, for her to help us. Well, like you said, to help us with the mortgage. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant a deal about Dad's accident. What? What are you talking about? Oh, you and her? I heard you discussing it. Oh, that? Well, that's no surprise, is it, with her turning up out of the blue? Don't let her get to you, baby. Don't let her undermine all the special things we've built together since that horrible day. I know it still haunts you, baby, but you've really got to let it go. I mean, it's a shame she left you in the lurch to deal with all the lights on your own, but, you know, dear, we none of us blame you. You know, I was thinking, maybe it wasn't my fault. Of course not, darling. Whoever said it was. Now run along, baby dear, and help your sister. No, but uh, there's a good girl.
Looks like you've invested heavily in this town. When the bank forecloses, I'll pick up your theatre for a song. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. No, because I'm here now. Honey, I don't think you being here will make much difference in the scheme of things. Well, didn't you hear? She's remortgaging. <laughs> no bank in their right mind would go anywhere here. Oh, yes, it's all sorted. Of course, we did have a bit of luck. Found ourselves a darling wee mortgage broker up in the Midlands. Just so happens he has a penchant for old musicals. I couldn't resist. So, honey, if you really want it, you'll have to go through me. So sweet. Does he know she's not his? You wouldn't. That's the spirit. It'll be a breeze. Bit of shampoos, dim light. She sees the company name on the transfer deed, signs off on it. And below the theatre name, under some correction tape, is my name. Later, you just scratch it off. Simple. But my job? I won't tell. I'll chuck in a wee percentage. Can't say fairer than that. Good girl. I'll sort out all the forms and send them over. Um, so I was just wondering when I'd get my pay, you know, for the shoot, programming the phones, you know, managing stuff. Uh, soon. Soon, soon, soon. Just gotta, gotta be patient. You know, I saw you today at the cafe with, uh, Rhiannon. Uh, I'll convey it to for the legals. Speaking of, she's waiting for this. 
more is fine. I know it's hard for you. But you got to trust me on this. on the marquee. Oh yeah. Magic. <laughs> Come on then. Okay. This place is getting warm. Got a pew for Riella and a glass too. Oh no, no, I'd rather not. Oh, don't be silly. You have to join us. Okay, well I am. I still know. I have to go back to Yes, yes. Plenty of time. Good morning. <laughs> Darling, where do I get my money? Once you start the papers. It'll go through then, won't it, Ray? Um, yes. Yes, that's right. T tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much, ladies. And I must say, I'm absolutely delighted. You've truly saved the day. And my lovely, lovely theatre. Oh, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> <sighs> chop chop. i 
business, strictly second hand. Everything from toothpicks to our baby grand. Even stuff in our apartment came from daddy's store. Even clothes I'm wearing, someone's worn before. It's no wonder that I feel abused. There's really no excuse for being late, especially not for Evie's sake. <sighs> We're professionals. And this show is going to be the icing on the cake for you and me, baby. We are going to have a massive hit on our hands. Hits. Plural. Oh, but listen, I, you must oh, know by now. I just... No, I know. It's a lot of pressure. It is. No, no, that's not it. I just oh, really don't want to no, be... No, don't be silly. It's just nerves. You can do this, baby. You can. It'll be much easier when the money comes Mum, you're not listening to no, me. No, I am. I know I've pushed you. I just want what's best for you, for us, for the show. I promise, after this run, we'll take some time out. Go somewhere nice, somewhere sunny and warm, like Saint-Tropez. <gasps> oh. We can visit all the places your dad and I explored and adored. you love it there, baby. It'll be wonderful, you'll see, okay? <laughs> no, Mrs. Evans, we've not received anything this end. Ms. Reed? Looks like your little sister got there first. <laughs> Mom signed this last night. Well, this is legit. That one's obviously forged. That sister of yours, she scammed us. May! Where are you going? You can't just wander off. This is all your fault. You acting all chummy with her like she never left. You told me she could be trusted. Well, you've got to do something. Yes, you've I'll, got to fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Thank you. 
Gotcha. Take it she was the more generous of the two. I'll fucking kill her! Bo, Bo, calm down. We're gonna call the police. Absolutely. You call them. Go on. You tell them how she tricked me. How you both did. Like you tricked old Wilkins, I mean, yeah? You never had a legitimate claim to the theatre yourself, did you? That's just rumours. <laughs> and this? This is just desserts. I let you in. I gave you a chance, Bill. How could you do this to me? Hey, honey, I never did this to you. Chip off the old block, you're Ella. Ella? Ella? <laughs> See? I wasn't so bad. Now, boss wants the word, so walk. You got what you came for, so get out. Get out! I find you. You're dead. Grab my phones, let's go. We play now. Don't shoot me, shoot him, you silly cow. He's the one with the diamonds, he's got my bloody life. You're the one with the fucking gun. Come on, we can get him back. We can, we'll, we'll get him back and we'll split in two ways, yeah? You, you and me. 
No point. What? 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 That thing? Yeah, that's just a prop. Nothing works around here. He'll come back. When he realises, he'll come back and I'm dead. Come on, sis. This is getting silly now. Just, just give me my fucking diamonds. I taught you the scam. I showed you. Look, what say I give you the program? Hmm? You can set yourself up on your own and, and run with it. Make bucket loads. And, and I'll transfer you your cash. What I owe you. I don't need any of that, Evie. I've got your phones, and I've got your software. And while I was at it, I took the liberty of changing everything. Including the passwords. I emptied your accounts too. What? Yeah. They're closed. Jesus, fuck, Ella. You conniving little bitch. Dad would turn it his way. You have no right! Talk to me about Dad. Okay, okay, just... I figured it out, you know. About what happened on that day, the day you left. No, Ella, that had nothing to do with you me. You knew. You knew what Mum was going to do. I guess she asked you, you being in charge of the rigging. But you couldn't do it. You wouldn't. But you didn't say anything. You just left. No. You left me with her, with all of this. Who do you think was going to manage things once you'd gone? Ella. I watched him die, Evie. Right there on stage. And you let me believe it was my fault. There's your head star. You, you, you. You should never have come back here. So, your sweet baby bird grew talons. Serves you right. Now you've got nothing. I've got something. I've got a clear conscience. What sort of a person does this to their own mother? Oh, Evie, I can understand, the sneaky little cow. But you, after everything I've done... It was just one thing you did, Mum. One thing. I built a world for you, Ella. We sacrificed everything, your father and I, everything for your talent. No, for your ambition. This, this has nothing to do with me. The theatre wasn't yours to take. You get it back. Oh, we're done, Missy. No, I just want to know why, Mum. Why you did it? What? Why you killed Dad. Don't be ridiculous. Is that what this is all about? His accident? No, oh, except it wasn't an accident, though, was it, Mum? You claimed on his insurance to save your precious theatre. Ah. I bet you pocketed half of that as well. <laughs> I get it. This is all about Evie, isn't it? <laughs> this smacks of her meddling and muddling things up in your mind. Well, you could forget that. You wanted her help and she wouldn't play along. <laughs> oh, really? 
That's what she told you, did she? Lies. And you? You stole from me without any evidence whatsoever. How could you even think that I could do such a thing? Oh, I saw you. What, when? That night, the night before he died. You didn't see anything. I saw you up on the scaffold, fiddling with the rigging. And I'd already told you that day after Evie left, I'd already told you that I'd set and checked the lights. So? So what? Evie had buggered off. You weren't experienced. What did you know? Somebody had to make sure. Oh, you made damn sure. You don't know anything! You have no idea what type of a man your father was. Oh, he could charm the socks off an Eskimo, but he'd never stick to anything. It was me that kept everything afloat. Me. Everything we dreamt about, everything we'd agreed on. He abandoned every plan we ever made! So then you... So, so nothing! When he said he wanted out of this lark, I said no. We'd not be going anywhere. Your talent could be nurtured perfectly well right here, away from all the bright lights and distractions, but no, that wasn't good enough for his perfect little star. No, he had big plans for you, big plans. After the Swansea Grands have pimp you out to the Craven players and their outdated dime a dozen hackneyed shows. So I could have had a choice. I could make you somebody. Not some bit part pipe dream floozy performing endless rounds in red. What, like you? I'm a star. Ella Evans. A megastar. No. He wasn't what you said he was. He wasn't. He was on our side. He was going to sell. To give away everything. For what? For you? For us to go back to scrimping, to food banks and cheap hustles, to being nobodies with nothing. My dear, I'm worth so much more than that. So am I, Mum. So am I. He ruined everything he ever laid his hands on and he deserved exactly what he got. Why couldn't you just... love us? Like normal. Of course I love you. Please, baby, we can work this out. We can go back. Back to how it was. You just go back to Bill, OK? You just get the theatre back from Bill, OK? We forget this ever happened. Mm -hmm. I am not your little girl anymore, Mum. And I am not your dog. But you can't just leave. What will I do? Where will I go? You'll be fine, Mum. You'll find a nice new home with a captive audience, I'm sure. Ella, please! Oh, and I almost forgot. The charity shop send their thanks. I dropped all of your Jimmy Chews off this morning. You! You're no daughter of mine! They're not mine. I know nothing about it. Except your name's on every single phone and every single company. <laughs> 